here's a reply to a question that I had um, on my last video. I mentioned that if the if the wheel and the drum don't want to come off, you have to push up the uh, self adjuster, and the self adjuster is this little guy right here. You can see it's a wedge shape. The wheel cylinder sits here, so when you step on the brakes, the wheel cylinder spreads, and then the shoes get pushed out against the drum, and that creates free space. Uh, free play in, in between the wedge here and what happens is that the wedge get, gets forced, forced down so I'm just going to tap it something like that didn't really move but you get the idea because it's wider up here it takes because it's wider up here it takes up the space as the as the pads wear as the shoes wear uh, and that's the self adjuster and in order to get to it to this guy you take one of the lug bolts out and then you rotate the wheel or until the hole lines up with this little guy here and then you stick a little pin punch in there and you just lever against the, the wheel the drum and push this guy up and that causes these guys to retract and then you can take the wheel off uh, if i put on my glasses i might show you guys once it's installed okay so you're obviously not going to see me um, using this pick or stabbing the adjuster and pulling it down but you get the idea when the drum is off the self adjuster is on this side the parking brake lever that the cable attaches to is on the right hand side or on the rear so you basically look in the hole you can see the spring that the uh, self adjuster is attached to and you basically just take your pointy tool and stick it into the hole where the spring attaches and then you lever up and you can see the drum is already dragging a little bit and you can hear it ratcheting so and that's it you just pull it down until it stops put the bolt back in, then you adjust the handbrake, and that's it. Hi guys, uh, since I have a lot of smart people watching my YouTube videos, um, I may not have to mention this, but um, I figured I might as well. The uh, self-adjuster, when I pulled it down with the pin, uh, again, that's just an, uh, a quick way of uh, bringing the shoes out to to force the self-adjustment basically uh, yes when stepping on the brake pedal the shoes should spread apart and the adjuster should drop due to spring tension um, so there shouldn't be a need to stick something in the uh, bolt hole and then force the adjuster down uh, however the reason I do that is so that I don't have to step on the brake when I open up the door and I can go straight to the handbrake and do the adjustment there uh, to each his own um, do what do whichever works for you uh, all I know is that if when I do it uh, when I pull it down manually uh, and then check the handbrake to see if the handbrake still needs adjusting afterwards if the handbrake is too too loose more than three clicks uh, three to five five max five is now nah, five is already too much I like to have about three clicks uh, when the parking brake is engaged uh, or, or the handle not go higher than three to five clicks I keep getting distracted or sidetracked, sorry. Um, point being, uh, pull the slider down, check the handbrake. If the handbrake is loose, adjust the handbrake cables. Uh, both of the, Doing both of those things will cause the brake pedal to be nice and firm. If you ever get a soft brake pedal and after bleeding brakes uh, and you have drum brakes, check the rear uh, adjustment of the shoes. Uh, and like I said, the, the adjuster should do its, its own adjustment because it is a self adjuster it's spring loaded uh, what I have seen is those little adjusters there it's just a wedge shape uh, and if you look at it closely the sides <laughs> the sides of the adjuster have little teeth uh, it's basically like a ratchet mechanism uh, and so as the adjuster drops it locks itself into place uh, or at least that's the idea it should uh, so if you pull down the adjuster and after a day or so of driving you get that low pedal again 
uh, have a look at that adjuster more closely. Uh, it could be that those uh, ridges are worn off and it's just too smooth and uh, uh, it's sliding up and down, the V is sliding up and down. <laughs> okay, uh, anyways, hope that made sense. Thanks for watching as always. Bye-bye. Uh, and yes, I'm yellow, I don't know why. It, 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 first I thought it was I'm tan from summer, but... Um, there's some kind of yellow issue going on and my, the background is flickering sometimes and my face sometimes the color flickers I think it's got to be the camera or something um, I must have changed some settings I'm sorry if uh, I come across yellow